Crash Bandicoot Nightmares by Blue Tusk. As a gift, I had received an older, fatter version of the PlayStation 2. Being an event player of the older PS1 games, I searched through the local Goodwill for any PS1 or PS2 games. I was so excited when I found a copy of Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. The only thing I got upset at was, every time I played the game, I could never save because it needed a PS1 memory card to save. Being irritated at this, I look online after what there were any cheat codes to help me speed up the game. I found the biggest basic ones like more life or more fruit, but I came across one that just said 83247. For the code, it was just LRX. L L R X. At first, I was confused because this was one of the shortest codes I had ever seen. I decided to look it up online since it had no description, so I put the code into my search engine and to my disappointment. Then we came up, so I shut off the game, shut off the game, and went to bed. <coughs> the next day, I thought I'd put the code in and see what would happen. The worst that could happen was it didn't work. So I got to the screen, input the code, and it took me to the polar bear one. I thought everything being covered in snow, it was covered in blood. The music was reversed and very low pitch. The bear ran in a stubbly way, like it had broken its leg or something. Every box turned into a nitro box. It was hard to avoid them then without any warning. The bear collapsed, sending Crash flying into a wall of nitro boxes. They exploded, but not in a cartoonish way. It blew pieces of him everywhere. I was fruitfully disgusted. I turned the game off, not wanting to see it anymore. I went to see the site that had the cheat code. To my surprise and horror, it wasn't there. On I contacted a friend of mine that was the admin for the site and made him review the records to see who took it down. When he replied, he told me there was no such cheat. Be ordered. I turned the game back on, somehow even without a card. I was safe on that level. It was almost back to normal, but in the corner lay the bear, beating to death with a pipe that laid beside it in a pool of blood. With its stomach rip, out, rip open. Crash, who now looked crazy, started laughing maniacally. The code I had entered pop up, pop up on the screen, but the numbers moved. The seven was flipped to the right, the four upside down, and the three was turned around. After a moment, I realized it spelled death. I ripped the cord out of the wall. It did turn off, but the word death, written with the num the numbers, was burned into my TV screen. My friend emailed me back and asked if the code was LLRX. I asked him why that would matter. Back when the game was first made, there was a man who worked on a Crash Panico series. His place in the studio was to make the cheats. After a few years, he was fired for putting very creepy and mortar things into the game. His last cheat was Overlook and the last copy of the game. To this day, the image is still on my TV. August 31st, 2012. I heard there was a man who had brought this game for his son after playing it. His son went missing, soon dead, so he gave away his son's things. His cousins decided to play the game as well, and has also went missing. Since the first boy disappeared, the image burned on my TV, on my TV is no longer there. Okay, final thoughts. It was kind of decent. You know, even if there's like some potential to be a very, very good Crash Bandicoot creepypasta, since there's rarely any of them. But yeah, I'm just pretty much you know pass it or something for like just a decent creepypasta. So the next creepypasta is gonna be next. Oh, and also, and also other things I have to say about the creepypasta, like the whole, the whole like a uh, code thing. I think that's kind of cool that actually. Reveal what's what's the meaning of that code and the whole. I think that <laughs> creepy scene of Crash actually laughing like a maniac just because he, he just killed Polar. That poor Polar Bear got beaten to death by a crazy Cash Paducah. And the whole disappearance of the, the kid and the, his cousin thing is kind of, kind of be might have some lots of clues. Like, is this game kind of cursed or something? One without those kids actually actually went missing and pretty much might be killed by someone in the orange bandicoot costume. 
<laughs> like, really, how many, when will I get a, how many fears are we gonna be gonna see for this creepypasta and the whole missing kids thing? Like, what is this, FNAF? Okay, enough of that. So the next creepypasta is gonna be a Rayman related, which, which I might plan to do, like, on Thursday, hopefully. Cause it's, cause I mean, you're gonna use man, this video will be kinda be up for, Hopefully I'm on, on Friday for like a Halloween theme video. So it's gonna be just five videos of the of Jose the of the my series from Talking Friends, Minions Madness, and Migo Adventures. So three fiends. Three fiends are gonna get Halloween specials. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and Bye.